to the cast and reel. So we are bringing you a product for review. Actually, this is the preliminary review before we actually take it out in the field. Um, this is a brand new re reel that I got literally yesterday. This particular rod and reel combo, the rod is an Avocet 2. The reel is an Avocet 2 S2000. The reel itself runs on a four bearing, uh, a four bearing system. It runs off of bearings in the actual uh, crank itself. The crank handle is made out of a really, really nice grippy rubber, which I like. Um, most of the construction on this reel is metal. This one is. This one's considered their easy flow balance uh, rotor on the inside here. Um, it's got a it's got a heavy gearing system, or excuse me, heavy duty metal gears on the inside of this. I'm going based off the specifications. Like I stated, this one uh, is the Avocet Silver Combo. This one also runs off the four bearing uh, instant anti reverse. And what I mean by instant anti reverse is you flip the switch, you can go in reverse and you can go forward. Now, if you hit the other switch, the switch to the opposite side, you can go forward. But I instantly cannot go in reverse, anti reverse, which is really, really nice. This one's got, uh, like I stated, this one's got the never fail ball bearing spring system. Again, when it comes to ball bearing setups, if you find a reasonable priced rod that has a single bearing system on it, pass. Go no less than a two bearing system. Uh, the more bearings, the better off you are. Also, uh, this one has stainless steel uh, guide frame and inserts. So this one is backed by a lot of stainless steel. Right down to the eyelets, I believe there's stainless steel on the inside of the actual eyelets. This obviously is not the full pole. Um, this is actually a two-piece, so it is what it is. Um, I can't get six and a half. Six feet six inches on camera, so we just have it in halves. You can get this pole ever. Uh, the available sizes for this one is six feet, six feet and six inches, and seven feet. Um, the price point on this one is right around. I got it for thirty four ninety nine. Uh, you can you can find them anywhere from thirty thirty five to fifty bucks, depending on where you buy it from. More on specifications. This one, the weight as far as catching fish weight is anywhere from 81 to 94 pounds. So this one will handle anywhere from 81 to 91 pounds. This one also can retain suggested 4 to 12 pound test of line on here, and that was tested with uh, trilene. You can put bigger line on here, you're just not going to have the the amount of line. Uh, I think uh, the 4 to 12 you can have an access of 110 to 120 yards of line with 4 to 12 pound test. And again this is engineered by Mitchell. Mitchell isn't, in my eyes, it, it's one of it's not one of the big names like Abu Garcia or Zepco or names that you're familiar with, but it is a formidable rod and reel combo, especially for the price point. And again, these are my initial data points. So if you have any questions or concerns on if I missed out any of the specifications, you know, feel free to leave them at the bottom. But uh, now we'll get into some of my uh, my my uh, pros and cons about this one right off the bat. And again, this is my preliminary review. We'll have an after action. The Mitchell Avocet 2, uh, like I stated, the reel is an S2000. The one uh, feature besides the ball bearing setup that I like on this one is the fact that this one's got a very audible uh, drag setting. You know, you can adjust your drag. It's very audible. 
the bail itself on the open face, because this is an open face reel, or a spinner reel, whatever you want to call it, is very audible too. I find that very audible, very positive. Most of the construction of the reel itself is uh, made out of steel. I'm not entirely sure if the actual spool itself is made out of stainless, but it's very high quality metal. I prefer a metal spool versus plastic. Most of this construction is uh, screwed together, not pinned. But uh, it's got an all metal body underneath, all metal spool, all metal bail, and uh, that's about it, mostly metal. Now I get into some of my, uh, my cons about it. I don't generally enjoy plastic on anywhere on on my reels. The uh, the thumb screw to hold the crank in is made out of plastic. Not a huge fan. I believe these are pretty much for show anyway, but these inserts right here, if you can see that, they are made out of plastic. Not a huge fan of plastic. Um, right down to the crank, I know this is for show, but that's made out of plastic. The actual drag thumb screw is made out of plastic. Not a huge fan of that. Just not a big fan of plastic when it comes to fishing. So that's the pros and cons of the actual reel. Now the pros and cons of the actual pull itself. Um, I don't have a whole lot of cons about this one. Again, this is my preliminary review, but uh, subject to change after action reviews. Some of the pros right away. I do like the fact that it's got a loop right here on the actual pole itself. This is where I keep a lot of my bait hooks. So when it's in storage, I hook it there. Now I like the fact that it's in the center here versus off to the side or back here. Because if it's off to the side, I have one that is off to the side. Actually, I had to bend it up so my line doesn't essentially snag on that because that can happen. And it has happened. I'm a big fan of that. Cork is really, really good. Um, I like cork. Um, it has the potential of floating if for some reason your pole goes ahead and ends up in the water. But I, I like the feeling of it. Cork's great. Unfortunately, cork, depending on the cork, can be relatively slippery if it gets wet. Now, when it comes to the actual pole area where the actual reel goes, um, it may look steel on these catches, but they're actually plastic with metal plating. I'm not a huge fan of that. The actual thumb screw um, is made out of plastic, but it is a plastic thread, so you have to coincide. Metal on plastic has never, has never actually done well um, metal rubbing on plastic. I know that from the firearms industry, unlock and reload. Metal and plastic don't always get along. This one's got a foam uh, tail cap, which up in the air about, I can't say anything bad or good. The construction is primarily, of the rest of the pole is made out of carbon fiber. Um, I'm making the assumption this tail end is actually made out of fiberglass, but the rest of it is made out of carbon fiber. Now when it comes to the unique sections, because actually a lot of these, this is technically a section, these are not only glued, they're not only strong, but they're glued as well too, with a heavy adhesive. Same thing with the actual bottom loop as well too. The eyelets are made out of metal with, I believe, stainless steel inserts. The rest of the pole again, carbon fiber. Very, very high quality construction. The rest of the pole is the same way. And again, this is a two-piece. And again, this is the Mitchell Avicen 2 and the reel is an S2000. But like I stated, the rest of it is carbon fiber. Very lightweight, very resilient. Can't say never break, but you know, we'll find out. But again, a lot of, all the eyelets are metal with stainless steel inserts, which is kind of nice. So anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, the cons on this one, I stated. I don't really have any cons at the moment, other than the uh, plastic and yeah, that's about it. 
and the potential things to go wrong, but I highly doubt it. Pole to pole, generally. They generally build these to last. But we'll find out if $34 is well worth the money. So stay tuned for the after action report on the Mitchell Avacent 2 with the S2000 reel. At any rate, this is the casting reel with, another product, with a product review. As always, stay dry, and I'll catch you later.